Behold, the S52X, an infernal beast of unholy art, forged in the fires of chaos. Through the abyssal depths of ISO, it conquers the night. Auto focus strikes with the lethal precision of a demon's claws. Its image stabilization, a hellish pact with the abyss. Smooth footage emerges, defying the laws of physics. Undoubtedly, <laughs> <laughs> the S52X is the most metal camera in the world. <laughs> just as a quick disclosure lumix did send us this camera they did not give us any money they are not seeing this review before we post it we don't want to be shills on this channel we want to only talk about things that we really really love this is my honest opinion for real yeah here it is so if you don't know about this camera, first of all, maybe you check out our original S5 II review because we kind of go through all the specs, but I'll give you just a quick rundown. We're definitely gonna pass some things up. So I encourage you to go check that one out because essentially this camera is basically the same as the S5 II with a few extra things really targeted at filmmakers. We have a full frame sensor in here, just like the original S5. Really impressive because the S5 II and now the X are the first series in the Lumix line to have phase detect autofocus, which is way, way better, especially for weddings. It's just a really, really incredible camera. Like I said, go check it out. We get into the features all on there. That's not what today's about. Today is about the S5 II X. Here's what's interesting about this camera. First of all, it is incredible looking. It is super metal looking as you saw from our intro, all black and it's awesome. It is really well built, just like the S5 II, um, but in my opinion, way cooler looking. So here's the deal. This camera is only $200 more than the S5 II. This camera is $21.99. So you're spending like $200 more for a few extra features. One of them being that it's all black. And to me, that's worth the money because I love how this thing looks. But they didn't just stop with making it look amazing. They did a couple things that are really specific to filmmakers that I don't think you're getting another camera on the market for a filmmaker that can do all the things that this S52X can do and do really, really well. And so let's dive in a little bit. Before we get into ProRes RAW and another surprise feature, which they included, which is really exciting, let's talk about SSD recording, uh, specifically SSD recording with ProRes. First of all, recording to an SSD is really awesome. There's a lot of benefits to it. First and foremost, SSDs are much, much cheaper than a lot of internal storage. You can get the literal fastest hard drives on the market and you can cut your ingest time down just by using that workflow. Now, for weddings, I'm not really sure the ProRes workflow is super, super beneficial. You're adding a lot of storage for kind of little benefit, but I definitely could see some people going that direction. You have a lot of color depth. It's a really beautiful file. A wedding filmmaker might really want to record a ProRes HQ422 crazy, beautiful image and maybe not necessarily get into raw recording. If you do want to use the SSD recorder, I really encourage you to get a cage and get some way of mounting the SSD. It's just gonna be dangling. Don't tape it to your tripod, guys. One thing they've included in the S52X that so they did not include the S52 is Wi-Fi streaming. Now for wedding filmmakers, I think live streaming is becoming more of a thing that's in demand. People are asking for it. And you can do that directly from the camera, assuming you bring hotspot or something like that. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little time save. The only negative is you really can only do it one camera at a time. But if you have a client that says, hey, can I live stream a wide camera angle in the back to my family that's not in town, something like that, you can do it with just this camera and a Wi-Fi hotspot. You don't need to bring any other accessories. And that is really, really cool. So let's talk about raw recording. When this camera was finally released to us, I was surprised because not only can it do ProRes raw, but it can do B-RAW. And that is amazing. Super, super impressive. Now given, they're both through external recorders, so you need an external recorder that can record those codecs, but you just enable raw recording and you just go and voila, you can record up to 6K30 in a raw codec. So what is that? You know, Cause I think a lot of filmmakers maybe have never worked with a raw codec. Think of it like raw files in photography. Basically, it's a file that's telling you, hey, this sensor information was captured, and then it allows you to kind of adjust it as if you're in camera. So you'll see here, we have these images, they're slightly overexposed from a awesome shoot we were able to do, and we're able to 
in post, take that ISO slider and adjust it. And look, it's as if we're adjusting it in camera. All that information is preserved and that's a really nice benefit for wedding filmmakers. Let's just talk about this raw file. Now, first of all, it is gigantic. We recorded all day at this shoot. Um, this was a styled shoot in Cape Cod, which we're doing a BTS of, so go check that out when it's released. We recorded pretty much all day in Cinema 4K, which is a 17.9 crop, mostly 60 frames per second, pretty much all day. And we got about eight, 900 gigs in about an hour of recording. Now that, that's really big, and you're talking four to six terabytes potentially at a wedding. And so I think in a lot of ways, it's not the most practical. That being said, I'm tempted. This image, honestly, guys, looks amazing. In terms of like the results, I, I honestly, I'm blown away. I mean, look at these images. They are gorgeous. You have these endless skies, full sun. You're recovering all these highlights. In fact, there's almost no highlight loss. The dynamic range is crazy. The colors are stunningly beautiful. There's a lot of tones at this event, but I think where you see a lot of these cameras really shine is when you see these really, really bright tones next to these really muted tones. One negative that I would point out is ProRes RAW is really only fully maximizable in Final Cut Pro, but you can convert it to Cinema DNG if you want to use it and resolve, but you can also just record to B-RAW. That was kind of a feature that maybe they kept a little close to their vest, but I'm really excited about that because I love the B-RAW codec. So no matter what you're doing, whether you're a Final Cut person and you want to work in ProRes RAW or you want to take advantage of B-RAW, you can do both with this incredible camera. Now, let's talk about this camera at weddings. Now, first of all, this is what I always try to tell filmmakers. You might not need RAW recording now, but you might need it later. I always look at a tool like this and I say like, could someone grow with this camera? Are they gonna outgrow this camera? I honestly think as an artist, this is one of the most future-proof cameras you can get. You can use it like a traditional wedding filmmaking, running gun, keep a nice tight codec, autofocus, all the things that you're accustomed to as a wedding filmmaker. Or you can take this thing to a set and you can rig this thing out and shoot ProRes, B-RAW. This thing is equally at home shooting for a Netflix show as it is shooting a wedding. And I think that is what makes the Lumix S52X special and why I honestly, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart believe if you're getting into wedding filmmaking and you're looking for like this first like big boy camera, I think you should get the X. I don't think you should get the two. Although if you have the twos, they're great and complimentary and they're gonna look amazing next to each other. But I'm telling you, Honestly, you can't go wrong with the S52X. It's really, really, really amazing. So hopefully you enjoyed this camera review. We're always coming from the perspective of wedding filmmakers. Um, so if you wanna learn more about wedding filmmaking, if you wanna get into the industry, check out our channel. And of course, check out our sister channel, The Wedding Film School Show. It's a podcast for wedding filmmakers. We dive into how to make more money and how to be successful in the wedding industry. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Love you guys.